How Trump seduced women by goading their husbands to cheat while he made them listen over speakerphone. President Trump has no doubt considered himself a lotherial in the past, but in a new book, filled with shocking claims, he has bragged that sleeping with your friend's wives makes life worth living. In one of the many passages of Michael Ball's book, Fire and Fury, inside the Trump White House, being circulated online in advance of its January 9th release, Vault details how Trump would go about using jealousy and revenge to get his pals' wives into bed with him. In pursuing a friend's wife, he would try to persuade the wife that her husband was perhaps not what she thought, by having her secretly listen in on speakerphone for a meeting that Trump would have with her husband in his office. Trump would have his secretary ask the husband to come by his office where he would engage in more or less constant sexual banter, the book alleges. Do you still like having sex with your wife? How often? You must have had a better FK than your wife. Vault's book suggests Trump would ask his friends whose wives he would pursue. Tell me about it. I have girls coming in from Los Angeles at 3 o'clock. We can go upstairs and have a great time. I promise, Trump would continue to go. Right after the Lord passage, a friend describes Trump to Vault as having a lot in common with former President Bill Clinton. Except that Clinton had a respectable front and Trump did not, the source spills. A similar account was told by actress Selma Hayek during an appearance on The Daily Show in June of 2017. She said that she and her boyfriend had met the now president at an event, and afterwards he asked for both of their numbers. However he didn't call her boyfriend, and instead called her. Now he's calling me and he's inviting me out, and I said, what about my boyfriend? Am I crazy? Are you asking me out? You know I have a boyfriend, she went on. She said Trump had a surprising response. He's not good enough for you. He's not important. He's not big enough for you. You have to go out with me, she recounted. After excerpts from the Dome ran online Wednesday, and as more information leaked out from other journalists with an advanced copy, the White House went into defense mode as it was revealed that former chief strategist Steve Bannon had gone on the record extensively. Trump issued an extraordinary statement bashing Bannon. Trump's White House press secretary sent out a statement of her own that called the book trashy tabloid fiction full of false and misleading accounts, after the president's longtime consigliere was quoted trashing Donald Trump Jr. and claiming his father would have immediately been made aware of an infamous Trump Tower meeting with Russians. Bannon claimed the Trump Tower meeting with a Russian lawyer, supposedly to obtain unflattering information about Hillary Clinton, was treasonous and unpatriotic, prompting an unprecedented brushback of the former White House aide from the president. Steve Bannon has nothing to do with me or my presidency, Trump said in a statement provided by the White House that torches his former chief strategist. When he was fired, he not only lost his job, he lost his mind. Trump's press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, then told reporters that the president was furious and disgusted by Bannon's assault on the president's son and son-in-law, Gerald Kushner, who also attended the Trump Tower meeting. The White House's full-scale attack on Bannon, who was once one of Trump's top advisors, was ripe with personal slides, exposing a dramatic rift between the president and the conservative provocateur who is also the Breitbart News executive chairman.